Hey, what is good, my fellow YouTube fantasy boy Aaron speaking. Shout out to the Yankees, you know what I'm saying? Last night, crazy walk-off win. But anyways, quick video from today's sponsor. Yer, are you an artist looking for beats from hitmaker producers? Well, Beatopia is where it's at, fam. Beatopia is the first subscription of its kind for rappers and singers. It's basically like Netflix for beats. While other Beats platforms charge you anywhere from like $20 to $40 for just the MP3 and a limited number of streams, Beatopia offers you 5 downloads for just $15 per month. Fire. With that, you get the wave, stems, and full rights, so you can get unlimited streams that you can release anywhere. YouTube, Spotify, SoundCloud, you name it. From Afrobeat to Future Pop. From trap to piano ballads, Beatopia covers all genres. Producer credits include Ghana, Wizkid, Polo G, Low Pump, and more. There's a special deal only for It's Aaron Speaking viewers for just $1 for the first month using the code It's Aaron Speaking. Click the link in the description to find out more. Today I'm gonna show you guys five CDs in my collection that I think are super dope, you know, cause sometimes, pretty much a lot of the times, CDs are just, Nothing crazy, like, especially nowadays, it's just a fucking piece of paper, no crazy artwork, like, nothing crazy, you know what I'm saying? That shit, it's a shame. You spend money, you hope that you get that, you, a little booklet, maybe a poster, shit like that. But I'm gonna show you guys my favorites in my collection. So, boom, first we're gonna start with Donda. Donda has to be the best packaging I've ever seen. I mean, just look at this shit, bro. Look at the detail on that shit, bro. Nah. It's like you took like a black crayon, you know what I'm saying, with some black spray paint, just went crazy. Just kidding, that shit's trash. Speaking of Kanye, though, Yeezus, for sure. It's super simple. I just love the concept. I love the, the actual album cover art is the actual CD with this shit. Simple, but fire. Next is Imperial, Denzel Curry's Imperial. This is a super fire, like the packaging is super dope. By the way, if you didn't know, Ski Mask the Slump God is on the cover. That's him right there. That's hot, wait, no, sorry. Him, him, him. Right there. And I'll tell you why it's him, because when you open it, where's Ski Mask at? Right there. Look at Ski. Vintage, bro, 2016. Rare shit. Fire. And then when you open it. Bam. But look what happens when you take the CD out. Whew. I don't even know what it says there. But it's fire. This is definitely. It's actually way better than the vinyl. Because the vinyl. Look at this shit. It even got a whole booklet bro. Crazy. Oh shit. Yo honestly. I don't think I ever opened this. I think this is a whole poster. Oh, nah. Come on, bruh. I might have to put this on my wall. Oh, nah. Oh, nah. I'm about to put that shit on my wall. And then look at this. Hard. Come on. That shit's hard. Next, we got XXX Tentacion RPX, man. This is a simple cool cd because i it had duct tape and you had to rip it you know and then you see how it says 17 that's because the inside is just a a red cd but the cutout makes it look like a red 17 super hard super hard the, these the the names of the songs kind of like puff out clean clean it looks nothing like the actual album artwork which is super cool love that next we got the games documentary this is actually a pretty cool cd i got it for like five bucks yes sir vintage the reason why i love this is because wait this is a double disc right oh no i'm thinking of i'm thinking of uh, uh doctor's advocate that shit comes with a dvd it's gas but nah this is still cool though they're still cool though i fuck with it speaking of the game though he has a walmart exclusive documentary 2 2.5 and um yeah two 2.5 and then there's like bonus tracks peep this though peep this though hard oh shit bam come on bro come on bro that shit ain't hard that shit is fire 
that shit is fire and uh yeah last but not least believe it or not i gotta show you guys detroit too this is big sean's project the reason i think this is super dope is because a lot of people don't know this but so detroit one was a mixtape right a lot of people know amazing amazing project you would have thought it was an album and also it's an actual booklet come on with actual artwork like you don't really see that nowadays bro you could tell they put love into this shit man super fire like how often do you really see this look at that shit you get to enjoy and feel and really get emotionally invested into the project when you have shit like this. I used to love opening the, the packaging and, you know what I'm saying? Just, ah! But peep the, C, peep the CD itself, though. The CD itself is fire. Not even the vinyl has this. It says Detroit 2, and right here it says, I know the first tape should have been an album. Two. <laughs> Yo, come on with sharpie and shit that's hard that's hard come on bro i fuck with that shit heavy another one i think that's pretty cool is Astro World. i don't i'm not a big fan of the paper shit but it's still pretty cool though and then the the cd itself is actually really dope peep the cd peep the cd bam that's pretty hard that's pretty hard and then I think it has a booklet as well. Yes, it does. Definitely does. Come on, bro. That's pretty fire. This is one of the best albums of all time, in my opinion. Period. I can't believe Rolling Stone gave this shit a 200. In the top 200, they put it at 200. Get the fuck out of here. Good buying good riddance at 199, but you put Cardi B's invasion of my dick at like 14. Fuck out of here. That shit gets me tired every time. But yo, appreciate you guys watching. Like it up, all that good stuff. And I'll check you guys in the next video. Peace.